Hello everyone, this is Nelson Narciso from North Coast Naturals. I'm here to talk about the Isoprotein 100. Now this is a really remarkable protein for a number of reasons. First and foremost, let's talk about whey in, in a very general context. Now whey is a great source of protein. It's rich in all of the essential amino acids. It is the richest source of branched chain amino acids of any protein to date studied. It's highly bioavailable, meaning it's readily absorbed. So it really is a fantastic protein from a protein perspective. This one here actually provides you with 24 grams of protein per serving which has got a, a pretty sizable amount of protein. But this one also has the enzymes protease and lactase to help you better digest the proteins and the trace amounts uh, of lactose. It is actually a whey isolate, so the lactose content would be extremely low. It also has prebiotics, in this case inulin, and it also has a probiotic lactobacillus fermentum. It will soon have, in the soon to be released version two, uh, the other amazing probiotic bacillus subtilis uh, DE111, which has loads and loads of clinical studies, really quite an exciting probiotic. Now, what I want to talk about is something that people don't oftentimes associate with whey protein, and that's the therapeutic benefits it has to offer. Whey protein is well recognized for having immune supportive benefits. In particular, there are a number of reasons why that's so, specifically three different fractions known as glycomacropeptide, immunoglobulin, and lactoferrin. These three protein microfractions have been shown to be both immune supportive. In fact, to be more specific, they're immune modulating, meaning they balance or modulate immune function. They're also antimicrobial, and to be more specific, they have well-documented antiviral activity. We also know that whey is extremely rich in the amino acid cysteine. And the reason why that's so important to note is that cysteine is essential for the manufacture of something called glutathione. And glutathione is arguably the body's most important antioxidant that we produce, but it's also critical for healthy immune function. And once again, cysteine, which is abundant in whey, plays a very important role in that regard. So it's important to think of whey not just in the context of a quality protein, but to think of it from an immune perspective as well. It's something we use on usually about two or three times a week. We don't have it every single day. We tend to alternate this with a couple of our other vegan proteins that we manufacture as well. It's something that children can have. My, my kids, I have a three and eight year old. They both have this, my wife has it. We add it to protein shakes. You know, I add a bit of banana, a bit of dates, some nuts. You can really do whatever you want with it. You can add it to your almond milk, rice milk, coconut milk, whatever beverage of your choosing. You can also add it to oatmeal. When your kids are having cereal, as opposed to just having a high carb, low protein cereal, why not before you pour that milk or milk alternative onto your cereal, blend a bit of this into the milk and then pour it in there. So you're just gonna up the protein content, which is certainly valuable. And on that note, we, we know that one of the fundamentally important macronutrients from an immune perspective is protein. So not having adequate amounts of protein can most certainly negatively impact immunity. So think of this not only as a protein, think of it as a a functional food, meaning it is a food that offers therapeutic benefits, not just a source of nourishment. So hopefully you have a better understanding of this product in specific and whey protein in general, and I'll be doing more of these videos uh, in the coming days. Take care, everyone.